Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody, and welcome to fan mail number 27. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh it's been a long day. Enjoying a cup of tea right now. All right, so here's the first one. They're really pushing this, aren't they? Really, really pushing this. Rings of the Power Flop is what I'm calling this. So, yeah, when I first heard about it, I thought, well, maybe that would be cool. And then I heard Peter Jackson turned them down. Then I saw the trailer. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not watching that. That looks like garbage. So what do we got in that envelope there? A pack of Gamagatsus. Two octopus style hooks. Now these, these are for sheep's head. The perfect size for sheep's head for putting on a smaller piece of cracked crab like maybe you've seen in an earlier video when I was cutting them up and salting them and vacuum packing them. Some people asked Craig, namely, why have you cut them up so small? Even though I said in the video, for sheep's head, for that size hook, that's the perfect size. Two op right there. Also, perfect size for fiddler crab. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, you're right. Let me, let me get my surprise face on. <gasps> Oh my goodness! You shouldn't have. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know what's up. This is the tea that I drink. I got this for myself. It's actually what I'm drinking right now. Ah, oh, this is actually probably one of the the most popular teas in the UK. You might think, why don't I just go down to the local store here and get some tea? You know twinnings or something like that well the tea that you buy in the store that you think is from the UK is not and it's nowhere near as strong as what they actually drink there I get this off of Amazon one bag makes a really strong cup of tea yeah some people over you're like think it's uh, sacrilegious for me to drink hot tea I don't care what you think whatever it's actually better than coffee here we go yeah you're right this is coming from Rick in Texas. Now, on Instagram, he's Rick, but on YouTube, I believe it's Texas Tiger. Texas Tiger. This is heavy. This is heavy, Rick. I hope I'm opening it from the right angle here. <laughs> I'm just kind of tearing into it. Just kind of rip, rip, rip is what we're doing here. Well, we're gonna have to bring out the knife because we ran into a roadblock here. I'm gonna have to cut it free. Well, maybe maybe not cut towards myself. I don't want to cut up my Bergen t-shirt. I don't want to cut my stomach either. Yeah, I used to be a Boy Scout, but sometimes you catch me cutting towards myself. I know better though. There is a lot of stuff here. Put that down, pull out the first thing. First thing has a letter in it. Oh my goodness. You guys see what's in this bag? Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mark, sorry the package was so late shipping. Hope you can use some of the stuff. Your fan, friend, Texas Tiger, AKA Rick Huto. Thanks for the videos. You're welcome, Rick. Thanks for the stuff too. All right, so what's in this first little bag here? Yeah, some of you guys know what the slang for this type of forcep is. Yeah, you're right, but that's not what we're going to use in this household because that doesn't get used in this household. Otherwise, these are really good for taking out hooks, perch mouths, you know, any small fish, trout, that sort of thing. The bag of forceps or the other thing, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, but that boat don't come through these waters. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> One of them went into the dog water. You know, Texas Tiger has 
sent me a care package before, which I really appreciated in the past. And whenever anybody sends this much lead to me, they are very appreciated. Thank you very much. There is a mix of no rolls in here, which I think most of you guys know what a no roll looks like. That's one right there, three ounce. There seems to be various, various uh, sizes in here. And there's coffin style bank sinkers, which is, that is that right there. I think he might make these himself if I'm not correct or, you know, I think I'm correct. I might be. I might not be. I think I remember him saying something like that. Thank you so much. Don't let me forget to pick up what I dropped, okay? You gonna remind me after I shut the camera off? It's alright if you don't. Woo! There is a bag full of goodies here. Big flash right there for you. Quick flash. Alright. Got some hooks here. I didn't even look to see what they are. They are octopus style circle hooks and they're eight aughts. There you go. I've used those before. They work pretty good. We will use them again. Thank you, Rick. Looks like we got some baits here. What do we got here? Oh, these are kind of cool looking. Little swim baits by Slider. Charlie Brewer, it says on the back. Oh, it says it on the front, too. What do you know? This is Bass Walleye Striper. Yeah, those are actually pretty cool looking. I might throw those in for the next session, which... Maybe. Oh! Wow, I think you might be the first person, Rick, to send me Berkeley Power Baits. And that's actually a decent color to pick to send me, too. So what is this? Crazy Legs Chigger Crawl. I'm trying to find the color on this pack. Green Pumpkin is what it is. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, you're right. Be using those pretty soon too. And there's something else in this little bag here. Little pink fills. Little floats. I actually like those a lot. Throw those over there. Got another pile of fill floats right there. Let's see, is there anything else in here? No, it's empty. All right. Now, I was kind of curious about the back of his letter. It says, Mining Adventure Rules. Do not screen for gems directly on the pile. Do not dig on the beach or in the banks. No wheelbarrows or motorized equipment. Please do not feed the dogs or other wildlife. Return equipment clean. I always like it when people do that. All equipment must be returned in good condition and checked in by our staff. Any lost equipment will be paid for. By who? Uh, me? I'm not even there. I hope I don't lose any of your equipment. <laughs> do not move the picnic tables. I mean, it's like big, bold, do not move. Like, they must have a problem with people moving them picnic tables. Woo! I, I hope I hope the wrath you get from moving a picnic table ain't too harsh, but I, I have a feeling it might be pretty harsh if you move a picnic table there. I wonder, like, if you just moved it an inch, how harsh is that wrath? Please put trash in the dumpster near the red gates. Okay. If these rules are violated, you will be asked to leave without a refund. Video surveillance in use. <laughs> Have a great time at our mines. You gotta tell me, Texas Tiger. Where did you go? Is, is this in Arkansas? Cause it, I think there's stuff like that in Arkansas where you can go dig for diamonds and other gems. Yeah, you're right, Rick. Thanks a lot. Thanks, I really enjoyed the stuff. It's very appreciated. I will put it to good use. And I especially enjoyed <laughs> the rules, the mining rules. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right, guys. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you next time.